here it is the overall connectivity diagram how I've connected my project through the internet and uh, you can see my Ethernet shield is connected through the DSL router through a RJ45 connector and Ethernet cable and uh, this Arduino Ethernet shield is connected to the Arduino Uno and further this Arduino Uno is connected with the relay board and from this ADSL router it is connected to Spilter and then from a telephone exchange and this telephone exchange is connected with the internet cloud and uh, from this internet cloud at alidono.org server is connected which is serving uh, and the request what we generate from the mobile phone and uh, uh, that particular request goes through the internet it goes to Teledono server and further from the Teledono server it goes directly to the Ethernet shield and Ethernet shield is controlling our Arduino Uno. Here it is the Teledono website which I have used to control my Arduino Uno board through the internet and uh, I have used a uh, Wiznet based Ethernet shield and uh, it's having chip 5100 and to control Arduino through the internet uh, this website is very useful everything is prepared over there we are not to do a lot first we have to request for a key and this website will provide us a unique key we have to go to this link and we have to request for a key so first we have to fill a simple form and then accept terms and condition and then we'll submit the request and this website will send a unique key to our email address and uh, we'll be able to use that unique key with our project to get our Arduino no control through the internet. Next we have to go to the download section. In this download section um, library is there that is Teledrino 328 library and uh, I'm using the Uno so I'll click on this link and uh, this library will be downloaded here it is downloaded and uh, um, if we open this library examples are there and these are very useful example everything is ready to use and uh, for this project I'm using this first example that is Teledono Ethernet Client Proxy next we are to go to the tools and uh, in this section here it is Arduino sketch key is there so we have to keep our Arduino Uno board ready and uh, we have to connect with the Ethernet shield and connect it through the internet through RJ45 connector and power on the Uno board and after that we have to put the key what we have received through the email from this website and when everything is ready if we click on this generate code button here it is the code and it will generate a piece of sketch and uh, this is uh, the unique key we are to use with our sketch to identify our, uh, our Arduino Uno or Arduino Uno through the network and it will be unique for this particular website so uh, we have to use this key with our Arduino sketch next I'm going to open the Arduino example and uh, I'll let you know where we are to get the changes in that particular example to use with our project and uh, where we are going to use this key here it is the example I have opened in Arduino ID which has been provided by the Teleduno and that is Teleduno 328 Ethernet client proxy example and in this example we have to make two changes to work with our project and uh, first one is this byte key whatever key is there and I told you earlier that 
here it is we have generated the code we have to copy this code and we have to paste over there so our Arduino Uno will be uniquely identified by the Teleduino website and uh, another change is there that uh, we have to change this MAC address a bit so it will be unique in the network to make it change uh, we have to change some of the hexadecimal values over there these two are hexadecimal value over there and uh, hexadecimal value goes from 0 to 9 and A to F so we have to replace some of the value over there like uh, I have replaced it by F and something like that I have replaced it with 6 and uh, over there example is there that I'm going to replace it with something like A so now this uh, example is ready to upload uh, in the Arduino Uno board and it is ready to work and just we'll upload this sketch to our Arduino Uno board and uh, that's it we are not to do a lot now again we have to go to the Teleduino website and uh, here it is and we have to go to this document down uh, documentation section and in this section we can see API link is there and uh, we are using UNO so we will click on this link and here it is the API page is there and uh, we have to place our key over there and we have to set the key and over there on this page a lot of good information is there how we are to use the API through this website and uh, other important information for the Arduino pin and Teleduino pin is there and over there some methods are there which are very useful and I have used these all methods to control the relay board for example if we see this get all inputs if we click on this then here it is the API query is ready to use directly and uh, what I have set the key earlier is already placed over there so directly we can launch this from there similarly there are some other queries are also there we can define the pin mode we can get the get the status of the pin and we can set the digital output we can make any digital pin high or low directly by using this API query and uh, in my example also I have defined the pin and then I have made pin high and low to get the relay on and off so it is very easy and uh, we can use with uh, our project so here it is I'll test this whether it is working so we'll open this in new tab and uh, here it is you can see the output result status 200 indicate that the query is successful in this condition my Arduino Uno board is powered on and my Ethernet shield is connected through the inter internet by using RJ45 so this result is there and uh, you can see uh, all the pin status over there pin 0 and 1 is these two pins and after that digital uh, IO pin uh, 2, 3, 4 etc are there and here onwards pin number 14 is there and their analog pin starts from there and this is the status of the analog pin so in this way we can query or Arduino Uno through the internet that what is the status and uh, we can set we can define pin mode and we can set our digital output high low and some other very interesting work we can be able to do you can see this website for the detail and 
to control this uh, Arduino Uno and control the relay board I have used these all queries and uh, for that I have developed an uh, Android application and uh, that Android application is being developed by using the app inventor and uh, I have used these all key with the app inventor to get query with the Arduino Uno board and to give the instruction through the internet to my Arduino Uno to make the relay on and off so I would like to give you a brief description for the app inventor also by using the app inventor we are able to make our own Android application very easily and very user friendly way so next I'm going to give some introduction of app inventor also here it is the app inventor website which I've used to create my Android application it is very user friendly and I'll get registered with this website by using my gmail account id and uh, we have to go to create to create an android application and uh, here it is my application what i'm using with my android phone and in this application it is very too easy to create uh, very easy to create and uh, uh, we have to just put some button over there this is drag and drop system and uh, uh, when we make this layout after that we have to make some programming for that and we have to go to this block section in this block section here you can see we have to choose the blocks and uh, we have to implement our logic over there what we want to do and uh, in this particular application uh, it is launching some API and uh, the response of API it analyzes and accordingly it behaves uh, like if I press the press the switch one it launch an API to to make a particular Android pin high or low accordingly it will get the response and uh, it will get change the button color etc and uh, when we launch this application initially uh, it check the status of all the pin and set the status as per the requirement so in this way my this Android application is working and we can also be able to make the APK that is the extension of the Android application so we can make the APK and uh, we can share and we can directly load to our Android phones so that's it it is very user friendly so we are not to do a lot so you will also be able to create it very easily thanks for watching